Matt Buckley here with the UCCS Athletic Network. Today we're interviewing Justin Smith and really getting his take on basketball and his passion and just kind of getting to know Justin Smith a little bit more. Justin, how are you doing today? First off and foremost, man. Doing well. Doing really well. Thank you for having me today. Oh, no, it's my pleasure, man. Honestly. So, you know, you guys just got done doing shoot around. But, I mean, honestly, I really have to talk about this. The elephant in the room, if you want to call it that. Last weekend, back-to-back -back games in overtime, you ended up having 27 points. And then come off the weekend, you get RMAC Offensive Player of the Week. Just how much does that mean for you and your team as far as your first year as a mountain lion? You know, it was a great weekend for us. You know, we really um, played well. And, you know, to get two big road wins was huge. So hopefully we can carry that momentum into this week as we, uh, you know, have two games at home. So it should be a lot of fun. It should be a lot of fun. Yeah, man, especially with senior night and stuff like that, too. Justin Smith, let's uh, you know, let's talk a little bit about your background before we jump into you at UCCS because, you know, um, it, those of you who don't know, Justin Smith is a transfer from Idaho State, a Division One school. So, Justin, um, let's talk really first. What brought you back to Colorado Springs from Idaho State? You know, it was a good experience in Idaho. Um, you know, I met a lot of great people. I uh, had a lot of great times up there. But, you know, my last year there, I just realized that, um, you know, I really wanted to be close to my family. And um, I just kind of learned a lot about myself up there and just kind of really what was important to me. Um, it was nice to get away, you know, for a little <laughs> yeah, bit. Yep. Kind of go off on your own. But at the same time, um, that third year, I just really kind of realized, you know, my family's, you know, important to me and I wanted to be back closer to them. So more like a family man than it sounds like. So you grew up in Colorado Springs, born in Los Angeles, though, so had a quick jump out to Colorado. What made you, what made this place home for you as far as when you're talking about Idaho State and, you know, being close to your family? Um, we talked about uh, your younger sister and your parents. Um, how does that play in a factor? And really, is, is it nice having them at all your games now? Oh, it's, it's amazing, <laughs> you know, being close to them again and seeing them in the stands. It's something I definitely missed up in Idaho. Uh, you know, they were able to make it to a couple games here and there, yeah. um, but it was definitely more difficult for them. Um, but, you know, just being back here, I, you know, I have so many, you know, friends, family, just a great su support system. Yeah. And um, it's just, it's awesome being back and just having so many people here that you know and um, it's just it's a great feeling yeah I mean let's talk about you at Idaho State man last year you were all active all academic on the um, you know a big accolade there as far as getting that um, earning that honor you were playing minutes you know I think you had six rebounds was your career high out there um, and several other things what was it like playing division one like straight out of high school like that you know it was a big jump uh, it was definitely an adjustment um, going you know to basically you know a full-time job yeah. and just <laughs> you know, uh, weights, practice, film, um, just every day. And, um, but it was a great experience. I'm glad I did it. You know, I'd do it again. Um, but, you know, I'm really happy to be here now. Definitely. Just be back closer, closer to the family. Definitely. I mean, double doubles um, on the weekend and stuff like that. Talking about, you know, defensive, like getting those rebounds off the glass and then being able to be an offensive and attack. Different coaches run different kind of systems. What's it been like as far as adapting your game style, your gameplay, to what Coach Culver is implementing on the floor? You know, it was definitely a transition coming back from Idaho State. Um, we played a lot of zone up in Idaho State. Um, some different defensive principles that they um, really wanted you to focus on. And when I came here, we started doing things a little differently here. You know, Coach Culver had a different system, and there's no right or wrong way. You know, people have different, they just have different systems. Um, so it took me some time to adjust um, and kind of get those old habits out, out of the way. And I still find myself, you know, sometimes today, you know, doing those old habits from Idaho State. Um, but it's just something you got to, you know, focus on, you know, the little things here and there and remind yourself of, you know, we're doing it this way now. Um, but, yeah, it was an adjustment at first. Um, but Coach Culver has a great system here with his coaching staff. And um, I'm really enjoying playing for him. And talk about your teammates, man. Everybody getting minutes this weekend. You're jumping off the bench. You're going on the court. You know, you're subbing in and out. What's it like just knowing that each person, like, is able to have 
that um, high competitive level where it can be anybody. And then you're a junior. You've, you've been playing this game for a while, but seeing freshmen, you know, be able to step up and play that they, the way they have been playing, like, and all in all together, the dynamic of the team. You know, it's it's a great group of guys we have. Um, it's just, it's been so much fun playing with them and getting to know all of them. And um, it's just, it's really cool that, you know, we're all pretty close and, um, you know, we realize all that matters is, you know, our little inner circle trying to block out, you know, everything else. And um, just knowing that everyone on the team has trust in one another and, you know, we're there to support each other and, you know, we're getting excited and hyped, you know, if someone makes a good play. Um, but we're also there to, you know, lift each other up if, you know, something doesn't go right. Um, so it's just, it's been great. And as far as, you know, the young guys stepping up, it's been huge. They've been playing really well. Um, and really just everyone on the team, you know, they've just all been very supportive and um, willing to come to practice every day, work hard, you know, get better, and, you know, just try to come together with that common goal of, you know, winning an online championship. Yeah.